Hi, this is Martin. I'm K4TEC, owner of Radio Mark. Today I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about the new TYT TH9800 quad band transceiver that's just been, re just been launched by TYT. We've had a few samples come through and I've been playing with them for the past few days and I'm very impressed with the results that I'm getting. Let me run through a few features with you. The TYT comes attractively packaged and includes the separation kit. One feature that I do like is the multifunctional microphone. You can adjust several key features with this microphone. The audio quality is also pretty good. The TYT TH9800 has a very clear and easy to read display. I've programmed this demonstration model through using my computer but I found it no problem to program from the front panel it's a lot easier than some transceivers to be able to do that. On, as you can see on the left display it's showing airband 128.5 for example this in AM. On the right hand side display it's showing LEX4 which is the fourth repeater I programmed in the Lexington Kentucky district. To switch between the two, you just toggle between the two upper left or upper right controls. They're multifunctional controls. And for example, let me just key up into Lex 4. Kilo 4 Tango Echo Charlie, check and access. This is DK4 UK8. Repeater at UK in LEXKY Go Cat. And there you go, simple as that. The uh, Lexington repeater is about 38 miles from uh, my QTH. The controls on the microphone are straightforward. P1, and you can program these from your computer to change to be whatever function you like. P1 switches between the left or right VFO. P2 changes frequency or band. P3 is encoder or decoder or DCS on off and P4 is the power position. It's a four, four position power um, arrangement on this transceiver. 5 watts being the lowest power, 50 watts being the highest. The front panel controls are easy to follow. Low is the low and high power setting. V-M is VFO and memory. Toggle between the two. SCN is search and scan. And the HM button is the home or scan button. The right hand side keys are identical to the left. There is also like a function key in the middle where it says key 2 that allows you to directly input uh, the first three digits of the megahertz display the second function is repeater high uh, up down or plus minus uh, 600 hertz and uh, 1750 tone and sub receive the controls on the bottom are quite straightforward you've got the outer control being the squelch, the inner control being the volume. That's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Let's run through some of the menu features now. Um, let me just enter, exit the mode it's in and send it, take it to memory mode. To get to menu mode, all you do is press the little, little dot in the center of the transceiver. On the right hand display, you can see it's gone straight to the menu display. Okay, let's enter the menu mode. Press the center key. And we first of all come to menu 1, automatic power off. Menu 2, automatic repeater shift. Then moving on to menu 3, which will be auto range transponder system, ARTS. Then menu 4 is the beep, on or off. Then menu 5 is the clock frequency of the CPU. Menu 6 is the dimmer. Menu 7 is DCS COD. Menu 8 is DCS NR. Menu 9 is Display Mod. Menu 10, DTMF D. Menu 11, 
DTMF S, menu 12, DTMF W, menu 13, Hyper. Then we have menu 14, Key Mod. Menu 15 is Lock. That's menu 16, Lock T for PTT. Menu 17, Mute. Menu 18 is Alphanumeric Naming. Menu 19, Program P1. Then P2, P3 and P4. That's the programming of the four buttons that are on the microphone. So you can set them to pretty much anything you like. Menu 23, RF Squelch. Menu 24, Repeater Mod. Menu 25, Scan. Menu 26, Scan Mode. Menu 27, Repeater Shift, plus or minus. Menu 28, the step size. That goes from 2.5 kilohertz all the way through to 100 kilohertz, including all the commercial step sizes. Menu 29 is speaker. Menu 30, tone F for CTCSS tone frequency. Menu 31, tone memory, tone M. Menu 32 would be timeout timer. OT. Menu 33, talk around. Menu 34, wide and narrow deviation for a re basically for repeater setting. Menu 35 is cross band repeater. Menu 36 is AM mode on or off. Menu 37 is auto AM. Menu 38 is the commercial two tone. Menu 39 is the commercial five tone. Menu 40 is the scramble system. Menu 41 is the compander. Menu 42 is the HSD type. That concludes the menu system of this transceiver. Scan speed is quite a good speed on this transceiver. Let me just put it into scan mode. And it's clear. Four satellite HF. HF is direct. I have it set for a timed resume. And you can change that. If it's not, you're not. I don't care. That's just the way it is. We know that it's ham rate. And as you can see, I've done alphanumeric naming of channels, which is pretty straightforward. The repeater it's on now is Lawrenceburg in Kentucky. Let me just stop the scan. Starting to mess with my understand. Okay. Um, one thing I did notice is you can the transceiver out the box goes down onto uh, 11 meters and you can switch to AM so you can actually use this radio on CB so uh, that was an interesting thing I thought I'm not sure how well we'll be able to pick up the uh, computer program using this particular camera but programming the transceiver via computer is so easy it comes all you require is the uh, the PC lead, hook it up, it's a USB to micro USB. Once you uh, assign the COM port setting, it's pretty much away you go. Uh, when you first uh, open the program, this is the information the first that you thing see. you'll need to hook it up to a computer is the connecting lead. This is a standard USB to uh, micro USB. The software is very easy to load. It's available free of charge from my website. When you first, op first open the software, you'll notice uh, a bit like a spreadsheet configuration. Um, let me just download from the transceiver 
the information on the memory channels. First of all, I have to tell it it's using COM1, which it is. Click OK. Now, let's read from the radio. OK, it's now just finished downloading. As you can see, my frequencies are all entered, my CTCSS tones, and on the right hand side, you can see my alphanumeric display all taken care of. You can also open the edit channel information box. It shows the channel number, receive and transmit frequency, the name, the CTCSS tone, the DCS code, the polarity of DCS, decode type, optional signaling, PTT ID if set, that's more of a commercial feature, squelch mode, bandwidth, scan whether you want to have it available for scanning, transmit power, remember there's four transmit powers levels, busy lock off and the display type, whether you want it alphanumeric or frequency, and of course the channel number. You also have an emphasis, a compander, a scrambler, a reverse, a talk around, beat shift and AM selection box. They're all fully functional currently. In VFO mode it shows the 30 meter band, the 50 meter, or 6 meter band, the VHF band, simplex, a 350 commercial band, the 70 sem ham band simplex and the 850 megahertz band again commercial then the 2 meter band with repeater offset set and the 70 sems band with the repeater offset all taken care of. On this screen you have the CTCSS tone, DCS tone DCS polarity, optional signalling, push to talk ID, squelch mode, bandwidth, transmit power, busy lock, frequency step, offset direction and offset frequency. Now the frequency step size you have 2.5, 5 5.0, 6.25, 7.5, 8.33, 10 12.5, 15, 20, 25, 30, 50, and 100 kilohertz step sizes. On the next screen, scan channel. You have the um, upper, lower and upper settings. For example, 26,950 to 29,990. For example, is set into scan band 1, L2 and U2 haven't been set yet but you could for example set air band on low like 118 one megahertz to 136 megahertz you can select AM bandwidth step size etc that's all pretty self-explanatory and really easy to, to set up. Your basic settings screen You've got your squelch left and right, auto AM. It's basically your menu that uh, you, you get access to from the front panel that I showed earlier. It's pretty straightforward. That tells you the timeout information. And that tells you the, um, the four, four priority keys on the microphone. You can set those to be pretty much whatever, whatever you like, as you can see. Then you have DTMF settings and push to talk ID. Then you have two tone settings, that's commercial, and uh, the information relating to per channel. Same with the five tone setting, much more complex and uh, again fairly straightforward for the commercial operator. Then you have the entry of serial number 
model name, model code and the program date and finally frequency range. The frequency range shows what the transceiver is set for on 30 meters it's 26 to 33 on 50 megs it's 47 to 54 on airband it's 108 to 133995 on 2 meters it's 134 to 180 on receive and 134 to 174 on transmit on 350 um, it's set for 350 to 399.995 receive only on 450 70 SEMS it's set 400 to 512 on receive and 400 to 480 on transmit on 850 megs it's set from 750 to 950 receive only that pretty much runs through the software that uh, is available as I say from our website free of charge for downloading. In Indiana, at Indianapolis mostly sunny and 26. I hope this short video gives you an idea of the performance of this transceiver. I haven't even scratched the surface on some of the features like crossband repeat etc that this uh, transceiver is capable of. So for now this is Martin K4TEC wishing everybody the best 73's and a prosperous new year and thank you for spending time watching my video